Good morning. Right, give me one more moment. Almost done. Almost done. All right, let's see if we can take scum this time. I'm not a tank, no. He tries to run too? Oh. Maybe I would have been able to kill him last time. Didn't realize he ran at such high health still. Failed. We just started. <sighs> Let me fix something real quick. Oh, I didn't put my YouTube thumbnail up. One sec. Good news for you, I will not be playing WoW that long today. Since you didn't come here, quote unquote, for this crap.
Um, the cape from Scum and maybe the bow from Serpentis. What's up, top deck lands? Thanks for 38 months. I mean, I was also, what, five or six levels over the elite. Actual hee haw, thanks to the 54. my thing broken here reload overlays well you guys don't even have audio here do you no, yes, you do. Wait, no, you don't. You don't have game audio, do you? What is happening? Yeah, 
Serpent King. I can do it. He's the Serpent King. Bat, he can do anything. I can drop me a bow. Pretty looking bow. Is there a streamer? Struck down in 15 minutes. There you go. That's how long we're playing. Wow, today. see in the in-game chat how much time is left to play. and I do want to try to reset and uh, go get the cape. Yeah, my Twitch thing is really broken for some reason. It's not updating anybody's chats and whatnot. Mike McCann, thanks for the biddies. Jay Doom, thanks for the 22 months. Christian, thanks for the 39. Sponsored content today. No, I didn't reset it. I don't think I'll be going to Chicago, but I hopefully will go to Charlotte, uh, Vegas.
easy bail. Kill you, bros, but you yeah, aggroed. Not gonna lie, this is more fun than cons, but that's okay. That's not the point. I work for Wizards of the Coast. Uh, sometimes. As in, they contract me sometimes. What's up, Cindy's Divine and Pap? 23 months of you. Eight minutes till server shutdown. I have eight minutes to go kill Scrum and maybe Serpentis again. I mean, I'm playing for fun, not to min-max. Wait, there's a chesty over there I want. How many people do I have to aggro for that thing? Not too many, just one elite. Inventory space, though. I can't carry any more. All looks like garbage, anyways.
Yeah, I still need to do Shadow Fang Keep. At some point. If I have enough time. <laughs> Good news is, Scrum is more important than the uh, bow dude. Yeah, the legs, but I already got them. Clothes are great. I decided to get clothes. So he ran at like 700 health last time, so he should be good, not to use a pot. We got it. Perfect. Oh, inventory full. Oh, no, no, no. Server shut down. What if it server shut down and then I lost it? <laughs> All right. Got there. How sucky would that be if there was like 10 seconds left and there was inventory full and I couldn't get it? Vendor, 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 vendor. Lots of vendor garbage. Soul bound, soul bound, soul bound. Get himself for too much more. Get himself for too much more. Get for nothing. Bag self repeat it. <laughs> All right. We did it. We got the cloak, though.
That's the important thing. And I don't really need the bowl. Or not the bowl, the bow. All right, we're going to do a little bit of magic, and then we're going to move over to some sponsored hero wars after. Shoutouts to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's stream. Check them out, exclamation point Hero Wars. Where am I farming? Just got it. My cloak. A lot of this, I mean, a lot of the stuff I need in WoW now are just uh, either from the final raid, Black Fathom Deeps, or from farming um, honor. All right, remember, Arena Open is tomorrow, in fact. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. I'm going to record it and uh, not stream it, though. We are going to be doing some traditional drafting. Is my phone not working? What is going on? Activity feed is just busted for some reason. I can't see anything. Phase two, it's probably not going to be for a while. Yeah, well, best of one is always going to favor some some things over others, so Okay, going to grab a little bit more coffee maybe or just some water and then we will join a draft. I do need to up my rank eventually, but I'm not going to do that with cons. Session reset failed. I'm on the uh, Living Flame PvP server. Is my stream working okay for everybody? We had the sound thing earlier, but that wasn't the stream issue. For some reason, my Twitch is all messed up. Tubers, are you okay over there? Looks fine. Okay. Huh. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't going well for me. Pause alerts. No, it's not working. Either. What the heck? Oh, 
Well, I apologize if I miss any subs or anything. My notifications aren't working right now. Just Bob's thanks for the 16 months. Okay, anyways, BRB and then we'll draft. Okay. Let's go. Ended yesterday's stream with a nice little 3 0 with a Dune Blast double secret plans deck. That was nice. Where's the beef? You tell me. Still maintenance? Uh, for what? Wow? The maintenance for our WoW is probably going to be down in, or up in like 20 minutes. They always say hour or hours, but it's usually pretty short. 
but yeah, at this point, the only thing I'd be doing is honor farm or BFD, and I don't have enough time for BFD. What plans do I have for the weekend? The arena open. Cry, bash my head against the cons, best of one sealed. I wonder, it, it might be better to play best of three for this arena open. Generally, it's better to do best of one sealed arena open, but... Not quite sure. Yeah, everything's diaper money. <laughs> Thanks for watching and hanging. Hey, player eight, let's go. Oh, the shanker. Should we do it? Haste, whenever it attacks, creatures you control gain first strike, death touch until end of turn. Quite the combo. Let's see, Watcher of the Roost is decent. Paris Companion's good. Scavenger's good. Triland, or three duels rather. Yeah, this does beat board stalls. And this game, or this format, does go longer, generally. So even splashing this is okay. You don't have to be in an aggro deck for it. <laughs> Five mana, two, two. <laughs> He's a very hairy goblin, my lord. This is the arena open. Do I tank Ankle Shanker? Oh! Brr. Of course I do. Please let it be. Please, please, please. Let it be. All right, we got the casual red, white, black, green, blue. Yeah, two picks, five colors. Already living the dream here. We can probably ditch the ankle shanker now, no problem. Assuming I don't want to go five color. <laughs> Nomad Outpost, Rakshasa's Secret, Abomination, Bitter Rev. Should I take Shanker's Triland? Not super interested in that. I would slam dunk the Sultai land, but this one only adds one color for Villainous, which I'm more interested in casting than Ankle Shanker. Do I love cons? It's fine. Again, I think we have more fond memories of it than what it actually is. Yeah, I don't mind just taking the secret. Like I said, I don't really care for this land since it's the two colors, or two of the colors of the colors that are not villainous wealth. Wow. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Rare drafting over here. Get the old Tusky boy. Five mana, six four, sure. A vanilla five mana, six four wouldn't even be that bad in the format. It wouldn't be great, I guess. Five toughness is better, which is why Colossodon is actually not terrible. Vanilla six five for six. Goblin slide. Nope. Second secret, throttle, stalker. Yeah, stalker's just okay. This might end up being a deck where I actually run banners. I like taking another secret here. Seems fine to me. The pony. I like Scion a lot too. Again, five toughness is good. Double blue though, the only issue, but I think that's okay. My plan is probably not to run the ankle shank. And stick to like base Sultai. Jodonosuke, thanks for the 22 months of E. <clears throat> yeah, it's because banners aren't that good. Oh, there it is. The Colossodon. Like a big boy. It's got the borders, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna lean into going uh, more of a delve plan, which means we we might end up often milling our villainous wealth, but it is what it is. I kind of want to take this embodiment. It blocks all the morphs early. And it helps ramp us to the nonsense. I don't think we need to take right of the serpent now. Sideboard windstorm seems good. Oh yeah, I need to fix that, don't I? I accidentally added the uh, command into the plug so that night bot gets triggered by MTG bot. They're going sentient. Hey, another Scion. Nice. They're communicating! Oh god, it's a bomb! It's actually, this is insane. 3-4 flying for 4, already nuts in the format. Gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. But then you can put 1-1 one, one counters on things. I think this is the best rare in the format. I don't know about that. Battle Priest is great. Frenzy is great. Ramparts is Ite. Parapet's great. A couple lands. In 
instigation. I think I need to start taking some lands because somehow I don't have a single one yet, even though there's a savage punch. Or I just take the savage punch and say, F it YOLO. 360 no scope. I think we want blue fixing over other colors right now. Like I said, I'm probably not going to end up running that ankle shank. Soothsayer's great. Flock, Scavenger. Actually, Savance is probably good too by a lot of time. So much value though. Five toughness blocks everything. Fills your graveyard. Let's see here. Winter Flame is decent because it kills morphs. I think I'm going to take the Bitter Rev here, though, over Light Flock. Somehow I do not have a single morph creature yet. <laughs> yeah. And by somehow I mean I haven't taken morph yet. That's Season of Discovery, baby. I'm concerned that now I'm level 20, now that I'm level 25 in WoW, uh, I'm going to lose interest. Because now the only things to do are like raiding and honor. And at this point, just upgrading gear. If you know me, you know I like to farm. But I don't know if there's good places to farm. You can't really farm blues and stuff. Oh, hardened scales. Treasure crews are forced away. Uh, is there ever a world where I'm going to run that Dreadmon, maybe? Damn, a third Scion. It's possible I should just be taking some of these random garbage two drops, but it's fine. Loader Fuchs, thanks for the Prime, so be... Another cruise. Actually, do I want Sultai Banner? I kind of want to take the Sultai Banner here. Yeah. Like, our entire game plan is just going to be Villainous Wealth. But I'm concerned that I might mill it. Because I don't have an option with Scout the Borders or Secrets if I mill my Villainous Wealth, you know? Fixing is also a teeny bit weak, but it's not too bad since we're pretty baseline Sultai. Damn, Ghost Fireblade, dude. And here I want to take Opulent Palace. Yeah, pack's pretty strong. Oh, I mean, that's the thing. I only have one Morph creature right now. This isn't even that good in our deck. It's still fine, even if you're ha you're having to pay the full cost, but... <laughs> like, I'm gonna go for consistency here. F it, I'm taking Palace. Boom. That's good. Sansep Citadel. Splashes for the High Sentinels. I don't need to run the Avalanche Tusker. Tusker's nowhere near as good as the High Sentinels anyways.
Yeah, blade, but no more swamp womp. Sadness on the stack. <laughs> Am I going to have enough playables? Yeah. Worst case scenario, I can just make my mana a little bit worse and throw some of these things in. Or like Colossodon is still fine here. If I need to run a banner, I will run a banner. I don't think the Abzan banner is going to be the end of the world if I end up playing it, especially since our top end's really high. This one's not super good, but this is. Flare is also actually pretty solid in my opinion. But Armament Core is Armament Core. There's some good cards, damn. Ah, uh, Frenzy, Weaver, freaking Thornwood Falls, bro. God, I want the fixing so bad. Yeah, I like the Frenzy. Charger's all right. A morph, or we can just play it as a two mana, three one, no problem. Don't need a third cruise. So, problem here being I have very little removal. Not that there's great removal in this format, but I didn't I don't think I saw like a single um debilitating injury. I didn't end up taking any of the throttles we saw. Uh we saw like one savage punch I passed. I have no bounce. There's a parapet or a hoot hoot. I'm gonna go with the O5. Frenzy gives you good incentive to get the sandbars out of the deck. The sandbars trade with morphs, and they're just something early to do. Though I do think I'm going to be running an Abzan banner here. As much as we don't want to be running banners. Okay. Removal, or do we take, like, Scavenger? I better get some removal. Let's see, sideboard naturalize. There's a throttle. Okay. Sorry, Ivan. Uh, purse isn't bad. Wish I had gotten like two more lands. Legit not even mad about running a smoke teller, maybe. Let's see, I need to make three or four cuts here. I mean, the thing I want to cut is just both sandbars and the smoke teller. <laughs> but then I literally have nothing but late game plays. My Twitch not working. This is frustrating. Cheese Weasel, thanks for the 48 months, subby. This is probably the least amount of morph creatures you will ever see. I have two. I think I'm going to cut the charger, run a sandbar. I'm going to cut. Maybe I just start the frenzy in sideboard because this is best of three. It's probably not right, but I kind of want to just get like.
right? But I, I, <laughs> it is. But the thing is, I want to go like heavier blue for the scions. I wanted to shave the green cards. Was my thought. So yes, the charger is a better card, but not if I can't cast it as consistently. Yeah, I don't mind cutting Tusked and just going heavier blue. I mean, the charger still, I mean, there's, that does make sense. I still should run the charger because it's also morph. Like I should still be running Smoke Teller over Sandbar if I'm going to be running another two drop. All right, we'll go like this. We'll just make it work. Um, five, six, seven, blue. Three, four, five, six, seven, black. That's too much black. Three, four, five, six, green. Maybe one more green. Eight 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 two, huh? Let's go. Terra Grail, thanks to the two twelve months of E. Oh yeah, that's one of the things you need to do in these formats. Yep, I'm gonna run a ban over nineteenth land. See? Just how bad would this hand be if this banner was a land? Garbage. This is a really nice treasure cruise hand, though. We've got both Secret and Scout. Can't wait to mill my villainous wealth and concede. Dead. Turn to Ice Feather Aven, we're actually just dead. Ugh, I want a secret here so badly. only this parapet had reach, we'd be fine. Oh my god, we're dead. The hell. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Well, good news is we'll be able to Ancestral next turn. Bad news is we're probably just dead in two turns. I'm going to jump here and probably still end up taking eight from a 4-3 first strike, pumping one of their flyers. Oh, it's a Trampler? Oh, God damn it. Of course that's what they drew. <laughs> Alright, we died. But you know what? We cast Treasure Cruise for a single blue mana, so... Who's really the winner here? Might need to cut white in this matchup. No, no, we absolutely need the white versus them. This wind, uh, windstorm I took, hopefully going to be really nice. Oh, 
blocking a morph when they have five mana. I didn't have an option. It's too likely that I just die if it's the uh, Jess guy one. Maybe I need to play first versus them. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on. And I even have a throttle for their two drop. <laughs> Can't wait to throttle their two mana play after it's already dealt me like six damage. Here it comes. Ooh, that's not it. We got plans, but I have wealth. Probably don't mind just drawing like six lands in a row from here on out. For real with this hand, like six lands in a row would be fine. Hey, the Chargers already dealt six damage to them. What more can you ask from a two drop? <laughs> Acceptable. Thousand wins, not playing around it. We saw Charger, we saw Avon. All right, it's just the writer again. Still hitting them for two trample damage off the charger as well. This is where parapet starts becoming somewhat problematic for them. I think it's much better there to kill their 5-5 five five though. Whoa, sack the banner? Oh, you're right. You're right. I didn't actually hit for trample damage. It's when it flips, it gives something trample for a turn. I'm supposed to take blue for Scion. That card is scary. Oh wait, did I? Okay, for a second I thought I might have milled a black source. Alright, alright, that game went a little bit better for us. What's up, Papa Shark Gaming? Thanks for the 17 months, subby. The Fox Mask! Hey, thanks for 
the two euros. Kenji, will you draft at my wedding? Mm, maybe. I'm not going to say no. How about that? Yeah, this is a format where wealth you want to be casting it for six or more. Because of all the common morph creatures. Obviously, you'll cast it for less in some scenarios where it's more of a necessary thing, but... We will see. We will see. Yeah, uh, we'll get back to you on that one. No problem. I am going to get run over if I keep this hand. So obviously it's a snap keep. I have a feeling in cube it might be a little bit too slow. It will be fun. But. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, they have the blade too? Yikes. Yeah, here we go. I just banner this turn so I can 6-6 six, six next turn. Big boy. So I don't think we have to worry about them attacking here. Nice. It's actually pretty freaking great. They're missing blue. Are they going to target my embodiment of spring? <laughs> I love it. You have to target three creatures. Embodiment's not a uh, defender, so I didn't want to sack it end of turn. Okay, got him. Nice. Didn't even need to cast our Villainous Wealth. Or rather, I should, should I say, didn't even get to cast my Villainous Wealth. I don't actually remember how incremental growth played out in the format.
Well, 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 look who sniped me. Nitro mob. Time to beat them down like a clown. I'll keep a five lander. Yeah, sometimes you brick on Villainous Wealth and it sucks. There's just nothing to do about it. I think I'm going to Soothsayer next turn instead of Sentinel plus Spring. That's that's my plan. I'm just gonna turbo dig to the wealth. I'm getting punched here. I'm gonna savagely punch my parapet. How dare you? Oh, it's kind of annoying too. Like I said though, five toughness, the magic number. Yes, I just take ancestral. All right, I'm ready to be hurt. Abzan died. Yep. Um, Do I miss playing Streets of New Capenna? Uh, haha. I'm probably just going to level up this squad. Fire's gonna fly. Papa Shark Gaming, thanks for the 17 month subby. Is this good magic? A goo goo. Grow, my child, grow! Alright, let's just sit back on the high sentinels. It's 
So it's not the number of 1 1 counters, it's for each other creature with a 1 1 counter. So I could have like 10 1 1 counters on Armament Core, and that's not going to change. Yeah, Sentinels was gross. What do we have here? I think my game plan is to go draw one of my Rakshasa secrets, though. Wow, failed. I don't think there's a need to fire it off quite yet. <coughs> well, well, well. That's actually not bad for us, though. Not at all. Like, that might even favor us since we have wealth. Ooh, Dalali. Okay, I've got five cards left in my deck. Oh, actually... You know what? I'm not going to play the Briber's Purse out because... Or if I did, I should have held the land. Because if they reverse draw Rakshasa, I get wrecked. Oh, no, I have the Abzan, I guess. All right, it's showtime. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need to win in time, though. I can't play that, for example. Yeah, buddy. That was like a pretty medium villainous wealth, considering how much I cast it for. <laughs> like, that was a huge wealth. Alright, so obviously this card is the card we need to worry about the most. Romatron thinks the four month subby. Go for AoE thinks the tier one sub. Um So it looks like Grizzly is gonna be good versus him. Couple of abs and guides and stuff. Don't mind trading actually. Is Death Frenzy worthwhile? No, oh, mid tier. Colossan could just be fine as a big booty. Just cut the two two. Yeah, I mean snap keep. If they have Dune Blast, does wealth have to be for seven? Probably. No, 2-2. Two, two. But I have double try land start, so I am a true winner here. Let's 
This is where I wish I had Death Frenzy. Oh my god, Death Frenzy, why? Have I drawn nothing but land? No, I drew Cruise, I think. I need to find a little bit more action here. I'll take it. Fifth land, but it enters tapped. Time for big booty body. Uh, living flame, I believe, is what it's called. I am an undead rogue. I'm happy just to sit back. They be pumping. How big booty body. Uh oh, what is this? Ew. Card is fantastic. That's fine, because we're going to hit, you know what, off of this. A blast! Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. Oh, I think I hit it. Oh, I didn't. Uh, these all go on the stack at once, right? So I need to cast Kintree first. I guess to play it safe, I could have cast one of the four fours and then the kin tree and then the four. Yeah. Bad news, chat. We did not, in fact, hit Dune Blast, which means we are probably dead. I'm guessing another removal spell is in our future. I wish. Second wealth. Oi, flyer!
Oh, he did have a Savage Punch. And a second Soothsayer. Come immense is in hand. Easy. Wamp wamp. Actually, we saw Awaken the Bear, too. All right. Go to game three. I guess we do want Frenzy. He's got a lot of morph. G3, let's go. Can't lose to uh, Nitro, otherwise we'll never hear the end of it. God, I kind of want to be on the draw. Alan thinks the 44 months of E. Oh, we got him. We got him so good, chat. No. All right. Well, we lost our wealth. But good news, he's missing lands. I mean, I have multiple ways to self-mill it, so it's not surprising it's gone. Or rather, it's not surprising that I would mill it once, at least. Grow, my boys. Grow! Dude, Scion with 1-1 one, one counters is actually kind of disgusting, huh? All right. Turn it into a nice ancestral. Oh, my death frenzy. Boo.
don't even think I'm winning by that much if he just has a removal spell here. And I also have to be wary of Become Immense just killing me out of nowhere. Like, I am actually dead here to uh, Immense plus Bear. I kind of hope I die like that. Be fitting. Ha. Okay. Totally has the become immense too. Fine. Alright. So much cruising today. <laughs> Looking all right. What's up, Hallant? Thanks for the 44 months. TM Bros, thanks for the 13. Curse Scroll, 104 months. Woo! Yeah, Scion's OP. Told you, five toughness creatures. Okay, nice little 2-0 start here. BRB, push.
いやいやいやいや。Alright。2-0. Let's see if we can get another trophy. That'd be great. What's the wording? I think it says monocolored, so no. GG. Yeah, your deck look good. Draw. It's a mid tier hand. Mid tier hand, mid tier format. Right? Chat. Uh oh. Oh god. It's getting nifty up in here. I might be dead. No blue sources! Eee! Scion, why? My first play is gonna be, well, I guess besides that banner that is, turn 466 six, and hope you have nothing to do versus it. Once again! Give me that death frenzy. I like a lot of formats. I loved this format when it first came out. It's just, it came out 10 years ago or whatever, and Magic was a different beast. Good news, they didn't do anything. They could not defeat my 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Second blue source acquired. Pretty sure we're just chilling. Three, three, first strike. Oh, that could actually be really bad for me. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay one. If you do tap target creature and opponent controls, it doesn't untap. They're going to need a decent number of, uh, if we just chill. They're going to need a decent number of non-creature spells in a row, but. No, I don't think I'm in a super rush here. Mono control, thanks for the 33 months. Young blood, thanks for the five months. Good. They have the kill shot? They do! Yeah, I knew I should have just kept sitting back. I think doing this for three is fine. Be flooding, they're not flooding in the slightest. Mm. 
No, because it costs one to activate it. Silver 54, thanks for the 40 months. I guess I should have left open a blue if I was going to uh, purse on three. Well, Smoke Teller, not irrelevant here. <laughs> this is the turn where I might take a bunch of damage. They're going to cast something end of turn, tap my 3-6. Oh, they didn't. Okay, never mind. Holding, holding, holding. This is just a wealth waiting room. Ooh, there it is. The double tap down. Wait, why did they tap the 2-5 and not the 3-6? They have another kill shot in their hand. All right, danger, danger, danger. Danger, danger. I might be dead here. Oh, why didn't I should have smoke teller one of them first? Whoopsies, that was punt. Good news, they didn't have anything. Yeah, I, I should have put peeked at one, but I couldn't peek at both. Is this two mana to do? Uh. Well, I mean, I could go for lethal here. Seems right to go for it. I mean, if they have it, they have it. I guess I can. I I can afford to wait. All 
I guess it goes both ways. We, we, like, there's no rush for us, right? Even if they tap down, like, if I just sit back. Just Sky Charm already kills me, that's irrelevant. Well, see, if I attack with a 6 6 and they do, ha like, kill spell, then they tap one of these and I only have two blockers. Yeah, Auto Tapper got me by tapping one of my blue sources, didn't it? I think it's fine going for it, but I don't think I need to go for it. I think I'm okay, actually okay sitting back. In before they drew Jeskai Charm for the turn, and we had lethal. That is nuts. Nut draw confirmed. <laughs> oh my god. Would have gotten sprayed potentially. Where did that mill? I mean, they might have had the land in their hand. They, they might have drawn the spray for the turn. We don't know for sure. Okay. That only deals one damage, thankfully. I almost wonder if they should have waited on that. I don't feel like they were in a rush, were they? I guess I should have played the island. Potentially minus one damage there. Ah! Why not look last turn? I already looked. We know it's a lock. I might have played that game too passively. They might, again, they might not have had it on that one turn. Yeah, if we want to make ourselves feel better, we can just say they had it 100%. Do I want Naturalize? I don't think so. Not for just Quiet Revelation. If they had also shown, like, a Ghost Fire Blade, sure. It is, but I'm playing best of three, so I figured it's fine to leave it in the sideboard. But I've brought it in pretty frequently. I cut the bitter rev versus them even though the card selection is so nice. A 
I wasn't dead even if they did have it. Yeah, I was. If I had attacked that one turn and they had the blinding spray, I was 100% dead. Sure. <laughs> if they had Ghost Fire Blade, I'd bring in the Naturalize, he says. Uh, that's funny. <sighs> Alright, well, we'll bring it in for game three, I suppose. Oh, they didn't even have a three drop. They got Winter Flame and stuff, I'm sure. You can Winter Flame my Smoke Teller if you would like. Deal. Jeez, and the bow, huh? Alright, well, discard two of three is kind of insane here. Wow, they kept a real sketchy hand, it looks like. It's true, it's hard to mill Ghost Fire Blade, but... I gotta do this. Two cards left? I have to. It's forced. Jeez! Double ride down and master the way. <laughs> Get wrecked, bro. That was a good draw for them. Three creatures when they have two equipments really good. Maybe, maybe, maybe. having one white source here kind of annoying oh i missed one damage i have nothing else to do with the mana except for pump anyways and yeah, this game's over I've been converted. What do you mean? Heavy Satchel, thanks for the 18 months, Subby. Pinkaro, thanks for the 57 months. All right, another nice 3 0 chat. <sighs> It wasn't a 6 though. -so. Yeah, the treasure cruises pulled work. So did the Rakshasa's secrets. So did the Scions. The Villainous Wealth was actually kind of a letdown, but... Oh yeah, obviously High Sentinels did a bunch of work. Hey, GG's. I didn't say I didn't like the format. I just said it's not as good as I remember. Happy Holidays! What do we get? 1,000 XP. Thanks, Arena. How about a thousand gems next time?
All right, I only have about a half an hour before we're going to move over to our sponsored um, Hero Wars content. So let's go do, as much as I hate this, sealed cons best of one. I am throwing gems into the fire. You better give me something good. Okay, Herald of Anafenza is insane. This is a nut one drop. One mana, one two, outlast for three. When you do, you make a one one. This card wins games. Obviously, Villainous Wealth is great. Anafenza's nuts. Retribution of the Ancients. Uh, nice synergy with the outlast cards. This can be good. It's a bit dirtily, but can be. Mystic's great. Very, very good morph. So, I don't know how to feel about this in Sealed. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield in your control, each opponent mills a card. If your opponent has any amount of delve, it fuels that. But this can mill somebody out pretty quickly. Like, in this format especially, games tend to go long, so... On turn one, this thing will win the game. But then again, on, like, turn six, it's like, well, kind of weird. I'm not huge on it. We'll see. All right, white is kind of unplayable, except for the Herald. That's bad. Blue is actually unplayable. That's bad. Black looks pretty unplayable. That's bad. Red looks pretty unplayable. That's also bad. Green looks kind of bad. That's bad. <laughs> All right, let's look at our multicolored cards. We have a Frenzy, two Ride Down. We do have a Secret Plans. Mardu Charm. This is this, so. By the way, this is the norm for this format. Every one of your individual colors is gonna look bad in sealed. For the most part, this is a multicolor format. You know, like it's better just to look at the fixing we have and go from there. And our multicolored cards. That is. Like, it's going to be hard not to play Villainous Wealth. It's going to be hard not to play all of these morph cards. It's going to be hard not to play Anafenza, Abzan, Charm. You know? Tusk Guard Captain, Rattleclaw, Air, Parapet, Flare. These are all decent. Let's see about the Charm. Plans is great. I don't think we'd run Ride Down unless we were going to be pretty heavy red white. Herald, Bondkin, Battle Priest, Injury, Ripper, Bitter Rev. We can just go like Sultai, Splash, Villainous Wealth for funsies. This is, Villainous Wealth is probably a lot worse than Best of One as well. Maybe not a lot worse, but it's going to be pretty slow comparatively. I have enough morph creatures to run the, uh, this actually looks like a solid Abzan start. Just good Abzan. I don't have the fixing for secret plans, sadly. In fact, our fixing is garbage for Abzan. I have one Blossoming Sands and like an Abzan banner. Sheesh. I don't even get good fixing for like wealth and stuff. Boy, that's bad. We have really good Jeskai fixing, but I don't think we have a good Jeskai pool. No, our blue's unplayable. And all of our strongest cards are, like, green and black. Get to splash Mardu Charm for free? Not really. I think I'm better off not trying to splash here and just going straight up Abzan.
yeah, I think this is how we're probably best suited. I might even have to run the banner because of our fixing is so weak. Yeah, the uh, Retribution of the Ancients doesn't look terrible in our deck. I'm not going to run it, though. It's too cute. It's more win more, feels like. Play the altar. Nah. So we're going to be like green, white, splashing. Uh, green, white, black. It's pretty even, it looks like. I'm telling you, man, the sealed format tomorrow is going to feel real bad. Draft will be fine, but sealed tomorrow is, is going to be definitely more of a gamble than it usually is, it feels like to me. <laughs> Can totally splash the wealth off of some Tranquil Coves. I could. Also, Mystic helps splash for it, too. It's fine. Yeah, we can try having some fun. In which case, I'll probably just add the Abomination as well. Maybe cut a few cards, though. Not huge on Skull Hunter. Don't need Awaken the Bear. I like Boon a lot more than Bear. I mean, this is just Filler Morph. It's not bad, though. Like, all these morphs are fine. Curse is good. All right, two Tranquil Coves for solely Villainous Wealth. We get Blossoming Sands. This fixing's pretty bad, dude. Pretty bad. The good news is the white, that like this duel doesn't overlap with um, Villainous Wealth, right? This is not like a blue-green land where it would double. I would need both colors, so this... It's kind of nice for trying to cast that later on. Imperio Imperium links to the 27 months. Hot, attractive, glowing, flawless, rip, swole, humble, bodybuilder, perfection. English. <laughs> English. Yeah, again, I I have a bad feeling about sealed tomorrow. But we'll see. Maybe it'll go all right. This hand's very good. Druid of the Claw. Wait, what? You have Despise? We're gonna despise my Herald? Opponent frantically booting up the stream to make sure I have a creature to take. Oh. Or they were just debating playing a 1-1 one, one for 1. I'm in for it. Are they going to molt it? What's that enchantment called? Snakeskin? Hits you for 3 on turn 2? 
unbeatable in this format. JF Wong, 105 months, subby! Feels like 2016 all... They did have it! L, they, they can't regenerate, but whatever. LOL. It's actually not too hard to get to 9 mana between having the um, banner and the mystic in my hand. I will accept. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to pay six to undo it. Uh, if I had drawn an untapped land there, I would have fired off the villainous wealth. I'm just going to get the flyer online instead of upticking our battle priest. Yeah, the old dread mop. Oh my gosh, so many bells. I mean, it is removal for a while, and then it isn't removal. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, wait. That thing has vigilance. Just untapping and smacking with that's not even bad. Yeah, the, the Kirin we only have to untap once. Double Dreadmaw! I'm just gonna go like this. Untap it like that so I can gain four life. Four five flying vigilance lifelink. Seems good. Yay, we did it. Alright. Wealth four six. Wealth four six. That was four land? Bro. Whatever. All things considered, still got hits. Instant lifelink, Abzan Charm, and Battle Priest. Nice. I'm almost in the you figure out attack with everything. Food. This is lethal if I eat that. Oh wait, no it's not. I can't count because I'm bad. Oh whatever, it's fine. Close enough. <laughs> if 
I had attacked with everything and they made similar blocks, it was fine. Go look at what their uh it was the Hydra! It's a good one. What are the number one rares slash mythics you want to open for sealed tomorrow? Dune Blast, Wingmate, probably end hostilities. These are all white cards. Sorin, that's a white card. High Sentinel's a white card. Actually, it seems like the majority of them are all white. There are good cards in other colors, yeah. Like, Sagu Mahler is nuts, but... Technique is good, um, but I don't think it's on par with some of the other cards. Wait, Ugin's in this? Am I not remembering that correctly? Yeah. What? Trying to trick us into believing Ugin is available. No! This guy's ferocious now. Rawr. Which clan head is the best? Uh, what are they, all of them again? Zergo, Serac. I don't even remember the rest. Oh, Anafenza. Sheesh. That is a nice curve. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to do this now. Narset's real bad. <laughs> oh, still attacking. Okay. How many blue sorcerers in the deck? Three, I believe. Two Tranquil Coves, one Island, and there might be one. Oh, no, no. Uh, and the Rattleclaw Mystic, technically. But yeah, three of our blue sources effectively enter tapped.
Sheesh. Alright, force them to chump and trade. This was the 5-5 five, five trample, right? Oh, they're forcing me to block that. Okay. That might have been a mistake on their part. I'm still going to kill shot it. Even if that was a Loxodon, we wouldn't die. Oh, it's not. Okay, so they had a different card. Um, Let's see here. They're not dead because this is not a three power creature. What I can do is purse that and make them chump. Oh, wait, no, no, they are dead. Trample. Never mind. I know I could have cast Villainous Wealth. I know, I know. It would have been more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid sexy trample. All right, I got time for one more game and then we're gonna move over to the sponsored content. Exclamation point hero wars chat. No blue for the wealth. I had the Rattleclaw Mystic. Flip the Mystic, adds blue. And the Mystic also taps for blue. Pretty sure we just run the Mystic out on turn two here. This is one of the most annoying two drops to play against in the format, because if you don't have like a debilitating injury or something, getting ahead on mana like this is disgusting. I think we need the purse right now. BW career links for the 19 months. <laughs> for the horde. All right, that's a good start from them. It's not as mana efficient, but I think we want to get the Battle Priest online. Though there is merit to getting the boon or the charm, pumping up some of my other creatures, and then playing the Priest and just attacking for lifelink without them knowing about it, you know? Because I could have played Morph plus Air there, and that would not have been bad. Oh, this is just raid enabling, snap blocking. I have a Saddle Brute or something. Their curve's really good. Their curve is really good there. Lifelink is going to slap. Hey, everybody clap! Look who it is!
It's the rhino. Bam, bam, bam. Scots and scots and scots and All right, so the only thing we have to worry about now are the two different wrath effects. The hostilities or the dune. Four five flying lifelink looter is gonna be pretty good here. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> the mismatched basics, yeah. All right, if they've got the Dune Blast, I'm going to lose. If they don't have the Dune Blast, we're going to win. No Dune Blast this turn with the tap land. This is all because we had a turn to Rattleclaw Mystic chat. Yeah, their deck is actually kind of nuts. <laughs> Everything they've played so far is just a good card, and two of them are pretty fantastic. And offends a Siege Rhino. Morphus Sadisi's pet? Could be. Or it could be a Krumar Bondkin. I should ban you for being wrong. Better wrong, though, than J.F. Uh, J. Wong. <laughs> Got him. If only I didn't stutter. Would have sounded a lot cooler. Ooh, man, their deck is nuts, dude. Flying, then it looks like. Oh well. Anna fends it down. Just Dob here, so. Yeah, baby. Their deck looked amazing. We just had a really good draw with Rattleclaw Mystic on the play to get them before they could do much. All right, that is all the magic for today. We are now going to move over to our sponsored content. Look at this wonderful, lovely background we have going on here.
So shoutouts to Hero Wars for sponsoring this portion of today's stream. QR code there on the screen. Uh, this game is on mobile. In addition to PC, I or rather um, desktop app or uh, desktop browser, rather. I will be streaming from my computer, not from my phone. One second to boot her up. So full disclosure, they have souped me up with an account. I assume it's kind of godly. Um, but we will be using some of the weaker characters to give us more of an introductory feel of it. I mean, Arena doesn't need a order or whatever. Look at that. Look how cute it looks. All right. So once again, shout out to Hero Wars for sponsoring this portion of today's stream. Check them out with exclamation point Hero Wars. Let's go around. Again, so I am totally new to this game as well. Like I said, they stocked me up with an account. This is a fantasy online action RPG with tons of PvP modes. From the very beginning of the game, you can play the campaign, which consists of more than 130 missions. Collect all the chests of the Dominion, the so-called world of Hero Wars. And you can win hundreds of thousands of coins even on the first day. You can complete missions, kill bosses, discover and level up new heroes. The game currently has more than 50 completely different heroes with unique skills that will help you explore Dominion. So you can find your own combinations of those 50 or whatever. Six different game modes available, Arena, Airship, Outland, Guild, Infinite Tower, and Grand Arena. Played by more than 100 million players from all over the world. Yeah, mobile games are very, very popular if you are not already aware. <laughs> Large friendly community today has already exceeded over 4 million logs. Kind of nuts. Sorry, what was the world called again? World called again Dominion. Dominion. Let's see here. You guys hear the sound on this? Oh. I don't. Let me make sure you guys can hear sounds on this. I even hear the sound on this. Wait, I think you guys can hear that, can't you? I click onto something. Let's see.
Yeah, it might be a little bit low sound effect wise. Let me change the settings on that. We'll probably need to go into a battle or something. Yeah, there's really, really quiet music. Oh, here we go. Good. Great. All right. So, again, I am completely new to this as well, so we are going to figure this out together. <sighs> Apparently they have a special Christmas event going on right now. Uh, let's see. Xmas special events, campaign, arena, grand arena, outland, guild, the airship. Okay, we went over those. From December 15th to December 20th, for players that have already reached 15 plus level, plus a, um, a brand new event waits. Okay, so a brand new event has started today. A new Galahad event, huh? Special events. Galahad's Memories. Alright, so let's see here. Different quests. Take a deep dive into Galahad's past and experience the struggles that made him as tough as Harunian Steel. Clicking the first mission icon in a row. Okay. Oh, wait. We go Galahad afterwards. I see. Keep clicking on that lady accidentally. Campaign. Let's go back to the very first thing, I guess. Season quests, earn XP, claim rewards, get a bunch of gems. Okay, I see. And apparently they have a movie about the, a brand new movie about this game as well. Let's boot that thing up one sec. Alright, sound on. It's been a while since I last bled. Not bad, you too. Seeing you 
bleed isn't enough, you bastard. Just yield already, pal. Come on. Strongford Prison isn't uh -oh. that bad. No need for more bloodshed. His blood's doing something. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And fast! Then find me some time! Go! Just knock this club out of his hand. has massive pecs. Brother! <laughs> Remember. Remember me. Remember me. Scar, brother, long live the king. Indeed. Go to the special events, complete tasks there. But um, log in two times. All right, public recognition. Take 500 or higher place in the arena. Let's go for it. All right, so yeah, they stalked me with this account, which has a bunch of these level 100s, which I assume are just completely busted. So maybe let's try to use some newbie stuff here first. Let's see how that goes. And then I get to decide who I'm fighting, I guess. So is this my power level? I have 7188 power. Let's go attack this 5562 power. Oh, no. I didn't want to auto load the, the beat sticks. There we go. Uh oh, am I dying? Should I have used the OP? what abilities my units have and stuff too. 
looks like even my low level uh, group did good, good enough here. Let's see, complete, complete missions of the special event map to earn scrolls of honor, spend them to start missions on the map and acquire resources to strengthen the buff. Buffs can be used to combat the boss in the family revenge mission. After completing missions in special events, go back to the window and click find forge button. Where's the forge button? Am I blind? Oh, the event window. Go back to the event window and find Forge. Wish I wasn't a pleb. Oh, am I doing this out of order? I might have been doing this out of order. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hero Wars online RPG with six different modes. Level up heroes, equip them, and strategically... Okay. The campaign. We'll start learning about the game there. Gotcha. All right. I'm silly. Here we go. Here's campaign. Let's go to the very beginning. Maybe that's what my issue was. I was doing something out of order. So you can join the game right now and we can try this together. Um, level 30, I can create a guild for everybody to join. We can co-op if you're playing on the web version. There are cool guild modes that we can all do. Okay, I see, I see, I see. And this is Hero Wars Dominion era, available on browser, which is what I'm doing, but you can play on Android or iOS. I got it. I understand now. All right, campaign, go to chapter one, find the arch demon icon, red and horned. I'm guessing that's you. <laughs> All right, and do we need to start? Let's choose the lobies. Let's see. We have Faceless, Fox, Kandavari, Elmir, Chaba. Chaba the Hut. We have a pet tab, and they want us to choose Fenris or Oliver. We'll do Fenris. Oh, it's a three-phase fight, I see. Okay. So you auto-battle the first one. <laughs> Crush the second one, no problem. Oh, and it's on a timer, too. So I guess it makes you weak. There's a time limit. Well, he didn't insta-die, so I guess that's good. Let's go see what's further down the line, then. See, go to the Scorched Lands mission, they say. Which one is that? Just after the bridge. Scorched Lands. We'll use the same ones. Okay, 
those are a little bit harder. Hey! lose this we already lost one unit kind of chonking Shaba oh I have abilities I can be using oh my lord gotcha okay so when their I character uh, icon lights up it's like they have their special move available gotcha okay and even the pet the pet has an insane move all right, that's why we're learning together. We're already five times better. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next. I kind of want to try out like the what level 100 units they uh, they have on this account and just see if it's like an insta one shot everything because I have to imagine there's like order these. Oh, auto will auto use their abilities. Okay, we'll find it. Let's see. So Chaba's ready. Yeah, I just use Fenris's. I see. It does make it go a little bit faster. Although I'm sure there are times you don't want to just automatically use these things, right? Like once you understand what the abilities are, you probably want to time them to make sense. Chava! Chava's dead. Like that move right there, that unit was already close to dying, right? I probably didn't want to really use it right then. I mean, let's just remove this level 13. And let's put one of the level 100 things in and see what happens. This lady here. <laughs> oh, one shot. Yeah, she's strong. Blech. Is she like a scorpion centaur thingy? What is this? Interesting. All right, after playing some of the story missions, exit to the game lobby, visit the arena tab. Arena. Assemble a team. Okay. They suggest a specific team to use. Let's try it out. Isaac, Celeste, Morrigan, Yasmin, and Corvus. Are these the... Oh, that's not the strong ones. Celeste. There's Lilith. How do I know which heroes are which without... Oh, there's Corvus. Corvus. Yasmin. Morgan. Celeste. And Isaac. Okay. And then pick Biscuit for the Penguin. There's a penguin? Yeah. All right. Power, let's see, my ranking, my power is, oh, my power is insane here. My power is 150,000. So let's just go for the strongest. No, but their ranking's lower here. Oh, wait, no, I think I just used my newbies. Oh, no. It used my newbies instead of the ones I wanted. Oh, God, I need to go back. We're definitely going to die. Where are we? No, we're definitely dying. Somebody 
Everybody hurry up and get your ultimate. They're like draining me. Might still be winning here. Nope, this is Hero Wars. Check them out! Exclamation point! Hero Wars. They're sponsoring today's stream. We're playing on desktop. You can also play on mobile. There is a fat community, huge community. Hold on, play this. Dude, this healer will not die. Oh my god. Am I gonna get soloed by the healer? Kill her! Hey, I still won. It's because I'm probably the best. Oh, here we go. Here's the So here's the team I've selected, right? Attack them now. Oh, see, it's trying to change my heroes. Oh, so maybe I needed to select the heroes on this page. And oh, because those are the so those are when people attack me. That's what it is. When people attack me, it's putting my those units of mine out. I see. Gotcha. Okay, so now we can battle with these ones and see how that does instead. There it is. That's what I figured it out. <laughs> well, we did just increase our level from going to like from like level 13s to level 60s, so I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. Right, let's go back to the campaign. Last, yeah, the, using the lobies was indeed a, maybe a little bit more interesting, but. Alright, so this is the campaign. So if you play this game, this is what it's going to be more akin to at the beginning. You're going to have a lot of lower level characters, of course. Thanks to the one person so far, that's... Played the game according to the app down below. Just click on all three at once. Did not appear to work very well. Chop is a little piggy. So Fenris is kind of a piggy. This person's ranked pretty high. Let's go battle them with the same ones and see if maybe they're stronger this time instead of if we just end up rolling them again. Ah! 
<laughs> Sorry, defenders. Even my characters are laughing at you. <laughs> All right, this ranking is 4,000. Oh, you have to wait. Okay. Gotcha. So there's a time limit. Back to the campaign. Where were we? We were on chapter three last time. Let's go do the chapter three boss. Using our low bees again. Boss boy. Let's see if you give me any trouble. Okay, I'm actually dying here. Hello? Uh oh. Oh my god, we're dead. I got two complacent. Help! No! He's so close! He had like one health. All right. Well, maybe I punted that, but it seemed a little bit harder that time, huh? Let's go try them one more time. Same units. I'll just be a little bit more careful with my abilities. Basically use Fenris ASAP every time. Uh, even the round one units here are kind of wrecking me. Chaba for the final dude. Oh my, that move. It's like huge AoE. He's so close. We need Fenris. Oh wait, we got him. There we go. Whew. Rarity Fair is in town. Hurry up, they are about to leave. Rarity Fair. Where's the rarity fair? I don't even know if we're supposed to be doing that right now anyways. In any case, we beat the boss. That's all that matters. After defeating the boss at the end of chapter 3, scroll the campaign to chapter 11. Oh god, they want me to go... ...to this? Okay. The Grimling Camp mission and assemble the following hero team. Grimling Camp. There we go. Dorian, Sebastian, Nebula, Jew, Ziri with pet, pet Axel. Axel? What is that? Uh? Wait, what are those things called? The uh, oxodles? Is that what they're called? That's what it looks like. Dorian, Sebastian, Nebula. Be down low. Oh, wait, they want me to use the super units. Okay. All right, we are going to use the max level ones. Well, if they want me to use the OP characters, this must be... I guess this is the final. Yeah, okay. These units are chonky. Was that a healer? Bubbles? 
justice. Oh. Freeze kill. Okay. You will not stop me. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the sponsored portion of the stream. This is Hero Wars. You can check them out on local PC. Hero Wars. Wait, was that my health total? No, that was my XP. I was gonna say, did we almost die on all of those? Phew. Crystal waters next, they say. Probably over here would be my guess, yes. Oh, this one's not even unlocked. So I, I assume I'm gonna have to beat this one and then that next one unlocks on the path. Dies in one shot, but he does all that mass AoE damage. Alright, we unlocked the crystal waters. That's so cute. Move his bubbles of justice. Now it says they want me to try to fight the final boss with just mages. <laughs> Let's do a small little gamba here. Will I defeat this boss with just mages? Easy, hero war champion. Lol, you're dead. All right, one minute prediction up. Will I defeat this boss with only mages in my team, chat? It says I'm supposed to choose only mages and see if we can do well enough. Support. Oh, none of the top level ones are mages. Oh, wait. Main role. Oh, wait. Some of them have support roles. That's kind of neat. Okay. Mage. 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 Main role control, additional role mage. Sure. Do the pets have classes? No, they don't have classes. All right, let's go. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling for... 
<laughs> I got a bad feeling for the believers. first battle yeah we didn't have any five-star mages well no it says the thing you can win you can lose so I'm sure there was a correct mage lineup to like not have any issue We're not doing that bad here. One of our characters is at 50%. A lot of the others are like 60, 70. The monkey's nearly full. And after this one is the boss, so... I mean, remember the last boss we did, though, was like one chunking us. Ah. Seems okay. It seems like the doubters might actually lose now. We'll see. Well, I'm doing no damage to this, and that is killing us! Wait, is it? Yeah, it's killing us. Oh! No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh god, the life bars! At the bottom! Funky, save me! actually looked okay there for a moment. Uh, so that's how the late game looks in the game's story. Um, yeah, Believers got wrecked. Sorry, Believers. <laughs> ah... Believers, not a good time to be believing. That was actually our best battle yet, though. Like, that was pretty good back and forth. And something was healing us, you know? All right, we've got another cinematic they want us to play here. Give me one second. This one's titled Corvus, which is one of the characters we were just playing, actually, in our uh, arena mode. They say the legends of the past are meant to teach and warn the generations to come. Let me tell you my favorite story. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, ruled the great King Corvus. Mighty, wise, and kind, he was the true patriarch of his nation and a loving father to his only daughter, Princess Morrigan. The father's duty is to protect the family. When the kingdom was struck by a dreadful enemy, Corvus could not let himself hide behind the castle walls. He faced evil in the decisive battle, fighting side by side with his mightiest warriors. His army was victorious, but the price was horrible. 
The father had raised his daughter well. Morrigan, too, was ready to sacrifice everything for the family. Heartbroken, she locked herself away in the royal library, hoping to find a way to deal with the death itself. The candle flame was her only light. She scrutinized ancient tomes, one after another. She believed that the answer was close. She only had to dare break the old rules. Days passed, then months, years, until one day. Legend has it that the pain had driven her mad. They say Morgan never left the library up until the very end, trying to open the gate to the realm of the dead, but to no avail. <laughs> Do you know why this story is my favorite? Because it is far from over. King Corvus is yet to take back his throne. That bro went off the deep end. That bro went hella off the deep end. So we've just been playing Corvus and Morgan on the arena. Those were the two two of the characters. Yeah, look at Corvus. He's like a skeleton king now. <laughs> Poor dude. Poor dude. Again, chat, this is Hero Wars Dominion Era. If you want to check it out, you can on PC from your browser, which is what I'm doing, or on mobile. Check them out. <clears throat> you can follow them on Twitch if you want to learn more about the game. Join the Hero Wars universe. Um, oh, you even get a free starter pack when you scan the QR code on screen. Did not realize that, so you get some extra benefits there if you try it out that way. Okay, we've got a new thing we're going to try. It is called The Outland. Here it is here. They're going, they're suggesting a prediction of, can I finish all three bosses in the Outland in a row? Not available. Oh, so I figure I have to do this one, this one, and this one. Consecutive, Brog the Conqueror. Alyssa the Weaver. Badjar the Incinerator. Oh wait, some of these are already defeated. I imagine you have to use the code or you um, use the link there in chat. Oh wait, no, this is the correct boss, all right. Pick Alyssa the Weaver, first claim reward, then use Heroes Artemis, Dark Star, let's see. So they want me to use some specific heroes again. Artemis, Dark Star. Ginger, Kyra, and Dante. All right, so we have chosen the right ones. Uh, that's a good question. Is the link working for anybody else? You might have to use the QR code. Oh, 
Oh, it works for you? Oh, maybe that's the, the mobile app then. Gotcha. I see. Fair enough. Well, thank you guys for trying to... All right, let's go battle the boss. Alyssa the Weaver. Hey, there's actually a health bar here. She, like, one-shot this, bro! Oh, my God. Well, good news for believers. I didn't run a prediction this time. That move's kind of cool. Absolutely handled. Bro. Oh, wait, that move is really good when it's when there aren't ten other units for him to hit. Jeez. Okay, well, we got crushed. Let's see. Now they want us to try Brog. Um, for Brog, Thea, Lars, Heidi. Okay, we're using the right characters here. All right, that guy's got a fat AoE. He's immune to everything! Wait, no, we did a little bit of damage. There's gotta be a correct strat of using your uh, unit's abilities. Oh, okay, so I need to, that, so that lady's a healer, I need to save her ultimate for sure. <gasps> no, we're fine. Oh, he does both ways? the seal. Don't need to use it yet. Okay. No. Yeah, heal lady looks so deep. Hurt me on the back side as well. Yee, healer lady, don't die! I ran- I didn't- I wasn't even paying attention to the time!
Oh my god, there was a time limit. I totally forgot about that. Okay, well. I guess I'm just a pleb. Ah, now we go to Vadjar and we try that. Why am I such a pleb? Like we're using the correct heroes. We do have one of the level 100s here, so. Oh! Oh my. He just one shot two units. <laughs> okay. Is that a level 100, the healer? Wait, are we gonna win? Oh, what? Oh my god, we won. That is surprising. Well, clearly it's not as easy as it first looks, right? We couldn't defeat at least one of the bosses. One of the bosses just completely wrecked us. Actually, no, Brog we timed out on, too. So, we couldn't defeat to multiple bosses there. <laughs> there you go, chat. There's your, there's your challenge. Beat these bosses and avenge me. Ah, <laughs> uh, ay ay ay. All right, we got another another cinematic to show here. It's going to be of a hero we're just about to use. Actual first try, right? Finally, finally got there. World first. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I did earlier, yeah. Oh my god, scary zombie. just ascended this bro just big time ascended all right so we are gonna use Dante to hunt a boss apparently let's go do that on the main menu click at guilds if I can find it there guild We are transported to the Celestial City. A new place, Asgard, Titan Valley Sanctuary, Guild War, Guild Island. We can create our own guild, apparently. Yeah, we're going to leave this guild. We're going to make our own guild, thank you. Create guild. Guild name. New Mots Plots. No, New Mots 
Uber bots. There we go. New mots, Uber bots. Y'all can be part of my guild if you would like to. If any of you get to uh, level 30, you can join my team, apparently. There you go. Uh, let's see. We can do a banner and stuff, too. Oh my gosh, we get to make our own banner. All right. Skull, clearly. That looks like Valentine's Day. We don't want that. Looks like poison. <laughs> We're going to be the pink and greens. The pink and greens. Umots, Uberbots, Arago. All right, click on Guild Island. Let's see. Click on Titans. And this will show you a various number of Titans. You can gather Titans in packs like you do with heroes to participate in various activities such as Dungeons, Tournament of the Elements, and Guild Wars. I assume that's where we can play against other players. Um, let's see. Titans are only available via Guilds. And their mechanics, and you need to play with other PS. Yeah, so you need to play with other people to unlock these, apparently. Click on Circle of Summoning, summon Titans with 10 summoning spheres. There we go. Cool. Myri, Sigurd. Summon some more. Why not? Avalon. Okay. Go back to Titans. Let's go upgrade this bro. Apparently you can upgrade them. Uh, evolve, I guess? Is that how you do it? Evolve. Like, okay, pretty good health buff and whatnot. We can level up for a specific... Oh, we have a ton of these things. We can just level up a ton of him. What's the max level on these? 100? Just get him like to level 60 and see how he does. Skins you can have. Sure, let's unlock that. Oh, I don't have it. Default skin. Upgrade. No, oh, I wanted to upgrade your skin, not your level. Oh, wait. Level 13. Oh, I see. Sure. Can have artifacts for them as well. Okay, so they all get their own buffs and stuff. So that's a titan. All right. Now we're going to go to the dungeon. So we go to the dungeon. You should start a battle by clicking on the doors. Okay. Gather your team. Use heroes and titans with similar power levels as your enemy. So my enemy is going to be level 50-ish. So where, where can I grab my Titan now? Let's use around level 50s as well. Some like robot thingy. Look, you got some like shooters. Total destruction.
Oh, wait. Here are my three titans. Okay, so they're following us here. Oh, here we go. Here are the titans. There it is. Now we're going to have a titan battle. It's kind of unfair. I have four versus two. I guess I should have just used two. <laughs> oh, I didn't look at the enemy levels. Whoops. Oh, there's some similar to Ay, 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 ay. Crystal of Celius. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Wow, they were lower level than me, too. I guess they just had better synergies. Bruh. Oh, I guess I should probably look at my comp. Tank, warrior, warrior, mage. Probably want a healer. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Amari, bring down your justice. Oh god, no! Okay, we're getting wrecked. I'm a total pleb. You know what? Let's just have a little fun. Let's take out our level 52 tank and add a level 102 tank. Let's see what happens. Still losing all of our units into the tank now. Kind of funny. See, I'm the best in the world. Let's just use all of our level 100s and see what happens. <laughs> this is fine, this is fair. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to stomp face, you know? Alright. After that, check the Oracle Trials button on the top left. I assume that's this. Claim the available rewards, exile the dungeon. Gotcha. Okay. Now we're going to go back to Celestial City. Titan Valley. So in Titan Valley, you can level up your Titan's artifacts to make them stronger. Participate in the Tournament of the Elements where you can compete with other people's Titans. Gotcha. Hall of Fame. So this is where you get to go to the top of the leaderboard. That's kind of neat. You get to fight other people and claim top spots and whatnot. And if you are, you earn trophies and gather better goods. Okay. Starts every Monday, lasts until the end of the day on Friday. Oh, so it lasts multiple days, and you get a bunch of, bunch of rewards if you do well. All the way down to, actually, wow. You get prizes just for competing, it looks like. Sure. Uh, uh, uh. Go to Tournament of Elements. Ignis, Hyperion, Ignis, Hyperion, Araji, Vulcan, the Moloch. So apparently, because I have a bunch of 
fire totems, I'm supposed to use a bunch of fire golems. Alright, let's go fight this bro. <laughs> Look at them hulking around to each other. You're, you do one turn as an attacker and one turn as a defender. And we are getting crushed as the defender. Oh, wait, no, we're not. No, we're on the right side. Okay. We swapped sides because we were defending. Gotcha, I see. I see, I see. Okay, go back to the Celestial City. So there's that Guild Wars with people or something as well. Click on Guild Wars, pick Defenders Packs. You may choose, I see. You may choose any hero in Titan. So, you need a full guild in order to play this guild mode, apparently. Okay. Your team or a team belonging to anyone who bears the champion signet of your guild can join the defense. I see. There's a clash of worlds. This game mode is end mode content for hardcore players is what they're saying here. Your guild must be in the silver league or higher. Okay, so this is like a team event. You need to be in a high enough guild to play in this one. Gotcha. So a bunch of different game modes otherwise. Let's see, one more thing to check out is Asgard. So go to Guild, Asgard. Man, this thing has like 500 different game modes here. Enter the guilds from the games lobby, click Asgard, click Guild Raid. Ah, so you just joined the guild. Guild raids will be available in three days, I see. So depending on that, you get to fight mini-bosses. So from Monday to Thursday, you're going to fight mini-bosses and stacks of mobs. And then if you're streaming Friday to Sunday, you'll run into a boss and you'll have five tries to deplete his whole HP bar. Interesting. Okay, so a bunch of different like boss modes throughout the event as well. So it looks like we can't do that quite yet though. That's the grand arena. That's more defenders. Then go back to the camp. Oh wait, this is a little 
15 campaign. Can't even do these, can I? We were on 11. So let's try to fight this one again with like the Uber comp. This is the boss that took forever last time and it killed us. And now we are using P comp. No problem, baby. Does that mean we get to go the next round? Yeah, or the realm? Level 12 now, we do. Nice. Nice and easy. Okay, well, once again, this has been the sponsored portion of the stream. So shout out to Hero Wars for uh, sponsoring. Check them out, exclamation point Hero Wars. I'm playing on the browser PC. Uh, you can play this on mobile as well. If you want to scan the QR code on the screen, you can do so. Otherwise, the link um, in the chat with exclamation point Hero Wars will lead you to the right place for that. Clearly, I've only scratched the surface. Um, I had no idea what this game was going into it, so this was just a unique look into it. Hopefully, that's given you more of an idea if you would like to try it out or not. We've got one more little cinematic. Let's play that real quick. Ever wondered what happened in Hero Wars since your last visit? short answer is lots of stuff reach for the stars together your guild can now challenge an epic raid boss and power up heroes with special ascension skills guardians have boosted their ranks with a charming warlock iris and her demonic pet bite give your enemies the out-of-body experience they deserve who let the genie out of the bottle be careful what you wish for while fighting Amira. A pile of gold might sound tempting until it explodes in your face. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Yeah, it's a bird, but a magic one. New pet Chorus will protect your sorcerers from control effects and punish those that try to cut your wings. Despite looking like a natural born punching machine, Fafnir is a die hard pacifist. This support hero uses his exceptional smithing skills to buff his allies and protect them from harm. For better or worse, Dominion was chosen as a battlefield in a never-ending struggle between light and darkness. Two new types of titans have joined the fray, giving you new opportunities in the guild wars. Claim their power to use two spirit totems simultaneously and crush those that oppose you. But guess what? It's just the beginning. Check out the new skins for your favorite Guardians and prepare for the fresh content updates coming to Hero Wars very soon. Dominion awaits. Dominion awaits. All right. And that was our check of Hero Wars. So thanks again for watching today's stream. Thanks again to Hero Wars for sponsoring this portion of the stream. I appreciate you all chat for hanging out and watching as well. Uh, we'll leave the QR, or rather the uh, code down below in the information section of the stream for a week or so. Um, I Again, I do not plan on streaming tomorrow. I will try to record the arena open though, and that it will be con sealed day one, cons draft best of three day two. That will be interesting. Again, cons was great back in the day. Um, it's suffered a little bit from all of the 
I don't know if I would say improvements, but the changes Magic has gone through in the last literal decade since Cons was originally out, but still a unique little one to try out. So good luck tomorrow for those of you that are going to be playing in the Arena Open as well. Benji Vine, thanks for the 52 month subby. Um, yeah, as always, enjoy the rest of your day, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the subbies, the resubbies, the follows, and thanks again to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's stream. So enjoy the rest of your day, my friends. I'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.